for us to purposefully take trips into nature is something that everybody, everybody needs to do. Uh, and for me, it's such a therapy to, to be able to access a place like this, to just gently shed the bits of the day and the bits of our society uh, that, that cause us stress and worry. Um, and that's a process from getting out of the car or getting off the bus, moving from the road, moving through the gate, moving through a series of boundaries into ever wilder environments. It doesn't need to be a long time. Um, but it's that transition away from the normal everyday in our society back into this kind of natural environment that I find really valuable. And the culmination of that, of course, is, is getting into cold water with all the physiological and psychological and spiritual benefits that that holds. It's uh, magical. Immersing yourself in cold water is simply exhilarating. Uh, the physiological responses alone produce endorphins and an immense sense of, sense of, of well-being. Um, but whether you do that on your own or with people adds another emotional and spiritual element to it. Uh, you're not just immersing yourself in cold water, you can do that in the bath at home, but you're immersing yourself in natural cold water, in wild water, water that you're sharing with myriad different animals and organisms, water that's travelled over rocks, that's fallen from the clouds that originally rose from the oceans many thousands of miles away, all of that comes into focus the moment you immerse yourself in the, in the water, it's fabulous. So often in life we just don't stop and this is really good for me just to stop and do nothing um, and enjoy the, the freedom that the, the cold water brings. Um, it's somewhere where I can really relax and, and just be with nature and just listen. Being at one with nature is, uh, is, a, is a big part of it when you actually get in the water and, uh, and feeling it wrap around you. There's a 
sort of social aspect of it as well when you get together with a, with a group of mates. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then there's the health thing as well on the, on the end of that. You get a real big sort of kick, this sort of euphoria when you get out and get dried and it's uh, yeah, good as a couple of pints of beer. <laughs> part of uh, the vitally important North Devon biosphere and Exmoor and its surroundings are incredibly valuable and incredibly sensitive and one of the big parts of venturing into the outdoors for me particularly with groups is that that experience without any real effort promotes learning and understanding you know we care for the places that we experience and the places that we begin to understand and th the more we can bring in a sensitive way people into environments like this uh, the more they'll be protected I think.